Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with pretty much a swatch video on the complete Wet n Wild highlighters that I have here. I have all six of them and um, six of their capsules that I just dropped one. So I know I picked some up um, earlier this year and I never got to swatch them on the lips. So I thought why not make this video pretty much just a swatch video and I was going to apply some of the lipsticks and actually no, I was going to apply all the lipsticks and some of the highlighters and then swatch them for you on my hands. Not this hand because I'm trying to get rid of this henna tattoo I got um, for my 20k. It's not that cute no more. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the highlighters. So Wet n Wild just released four more of their highlighters. Now these came out last year. Yeah, these came out last year around the summertime and these were limited edition and uh, or so I thought they were limited edition and they went ahead and made them permanent, but I was able to find them in store. Um, the first shade is Precious Petals and the other one they came out with was Crown of My Canopy. Now, these are amazing highlighters. Um, they're just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. They, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, I have beat this one up to the gods. This is actually one of my favorite highlighters to use. I'm not sure if you guys can see how beautiful that is. I'm just gonna swatch that like that there. Um, but I did want to do some close-up swatches of these for you guys if you were interested in picking these up. They're under $5, actually they're five bucks, $4.99. And I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Now, I have not tried any of these four. And I actually emailed the company because this one right here, Botanic Dream, came broken pretty much. Um, it's completely separated from the pan itself so i'm gonna be very care or try to be as careful as i can when i swatch this one for you guys so i did email the company that was like three days ago i haven't heard anything since i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys and then put some on the skin you know what i'm saying so let me open these up because some of these are still sealed and i'm totally unprepared derp so if you're not familiar with Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild is a drugstore brand. You can find it at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid. Um, I think now Walmart sells it. I'm not sure if actually Target used to sell it, but I haven't seen their display in a while. Um, so I'm not sure if they just stopped selling it. I'm going to try to have these linked down below either through Amazon or their website. Um, I'm a little sad because when I received my package, there was like, you know, they'll put like the airbags in those like for packaging. They were deflated and I think that that's why one of them broke. I'm surprised that I don't notice any of the other ones broken, but the day is still young, so we shall see. First shade is Blossom Glow, which is pretty much a beautiful... I want to say it's like a pinky peachy shade but it's really really beautiful it's like an opal pinky hue I think it's gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and take its virginity now actually let me do it with this hand uh, I don't know how to swatch with my left hand so I'm just doing a generous swatch there oh that is really pretty okay so that's really, really gorgeous. It is a pearlescent pink. This is actually a really good one for those that are very, very fair. Don't mind me. I need a fill. Don't judge me. Um, and I think that, yeah, I really, really do think that this one would be perfect for those that have a fair skin tone, which I think is beautiful. I mean, I can even wear this. I do would I really would recommend this Blossom Glow for my pale girls that have trouble finding highlights. But this one does have a pink tone shift to it, so be careful with that. Um, the next shade is Botanic Dream, and this one's the broken one, so I'm going to try to be very, very careful with this one. Aren't you guys tired of seeing my face? I really got to figure out a way to swatch better, but anyway. I'm scared. This is Botanic Dream which I don't know if you guys can see, it is completely separated from the pan. It did shatter in the corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and I already cleaned off my finger. Like I'm like lightly rubbing it. Beautiful. Ooh, this is definitely a pink toned um, 
highlight here. Let me close this bad boy up. This is very pink toned. This one's Blossom Glow and this one's Botanic Dreams. This is definitely a pink shimmer highlight, but they both look beautiful. This definitely would look a lot more pinker on someone that's extremely fair. I have a medium skin tone, a medium light skin tone, so I could rock this without a problem, but it is definitely a lot more pinker than Blossom Glow. Blossom Glow has that beautiful pearl, pinky, light, light pink. The next shade here is Golden Flower Crown, which is gold. It looks gold. So this is Golden Flower Crown. I think it's really beautiful. It's like just pure gold. I'm going to take my middle finger. Oh my god, it's so soft though. I'm like not going hard in with the swatches though, guys. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Girl. All right. Look at that gold shift to it. That is straight up a gold highlighter. It's not extremely gold. It definitely is more of just like a really pretty gold. Just gold. Not too yellow. It is golden. This is beautiful for... Even fair skin can probably wear this. But just expect that yellow probably doesn't look good on fair tones. If most of them are normally cool tone. But if you have a neutral or a warm tone under undertone to your skin, this one will look really, really pretty. Um, but I would recommend if you're very fair, use this for a shadow or inner corner highlight or something. So the next one is Royal, Royal Calyx. And this one... I hope it didn't shatter either. It looks like it almost did. It looks like it almost did. This is the depressing part. Royal Calyx, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Really beautiful. It is a purple iridescent blue shift, pearl shift. It's really pretty. I'm trying to be so careful with these. I'm gonna go ahead and go back with my index finger. Still buttery. This one feels like it has a little bit more grit to it. If you like those pop of color highlights, this would be something I would recommend. Let me go ahead and take it right here. Ooh. So that's Royal Calyx. It, this one right here has, I don't know if you guys, if it translates on the camera, but it definitely does have like glitters like very very fine glitters to it and that and I felt that in the texture this is a beautiful shifty blue purpley highlight and it's it's not a heavy swatch but it is really pretty this one is precious petals which is beat to crap guys I love it this is this reminds me of one that I like very much by a brand that I would no longer support or care for um, and it is like one of my favorite highlights from wet n wild this one right here if you're looking for a rose gold highlight precious petals is where it's at I, I mean look at it mind you I beat it to crap now crown of my canopy is something that I would recommend for my more melanized women and gents out there. And this is like gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I actually use this as a blush, which is strange. I use this as a blush topper, like when I want a little bit more, I don't know, something umph for my blushes. This is the one I reach for, Crown of My Canopy. This has more of a warmer tone to it. Definitely more orange based. Let's zoom in. And it doesn't look like it's got that pow, but it is stunning. This is definitely meant for deeper skin tones um, and is one that I widely recommend. And I use this as a blush topper. This is a copper based highlight. So this one's definitely way more deeper um, than any of the other ones. This has definitely more of an orange base to it. I'm not focused. Um, this one's definitely more like orange based very very coppery orange beautiful though I'm not wetting the brush just yet but I'm gonna take royal I don't know how to say that calyx salix whatever now this one's got a lot more grittiness to it 
because I'm taking it on the brush and not picking up as much product. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this on the lid dry first. So I feel like, hmm, that's strange. This is definitely, like I'm digging in here, a drier formulation. Yeah, this is, it's starting to like crust up over here. All right, so let's see. There we go. I had to dig in there. Why? Why is that a thing? Now I'm wearing a very simplistic shadow look. It literally is just a couple crease colors. And that's it. Like six in the morning. This look was not planned at all. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of, I mean, I think it looks pretty good, of course. Focus. I think it looks pretty good, of course, on this eye. It's a little bit more pigmented. Um, so... I'm gonna go and uh, fix this eye a little bit. I mean, if you're using a dense brush, totally would recommend rocking this with a dense brush if you want the color payoff. I'm gonna take Blossom Glow and put that on the inner corner. I know I would have swatched them all over my face, but I don't have that much face. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm taking my Morphe E36 brush, which I love so much. This is this is a very, like, as I'm running it on the brush and picking it up on the brush, this is a very pretty highlight. Soft, very pretty. Look at that. Of course I'm going to wet it, too, because, you know. That's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and wet the brush. Look at that. Ooh. I am wearing a blue liner on the bottom lash line, which I feel helps make this look um, compatible with a cool look because I have a warm crease. So, so this is Blossom Glow. Blossom Glow can get it, boo. I'm going to take that down more. I'm gonna use, I'm so scared to shatter this the moment I use it. I'm gonna use my up and up brush. It's clean. Mm. I like to pick up a lot for my cheekbones. Put this down before I drop it. All right, y'all ready? That's a lot more subtle. That's so pretty though. But that's a lot more subtle. I'm going to switch up on this side and use a different brush. I'm gonna use the Sigma F35 brush, which is my, my other favorite highlighting brush. All right, and let's see how it goes on dry. No prod, no wetness to the brush. It's really pretty, but it's very subtle. This is not a Kapow Bam um, type of shade right there, if you guys can see it. I'm actually gonna go in with Precious Petals even though I said I wasn't going to, but this is my favorite. I wanna see, I wanted to show you guys how I use it. So I'm gonna use the same brush. There's nothing on it right now, even though I just used it. And I'm gonna take my same up and up brush. I love it. I'm gonna take it. and layer it. It definitely adds more oomph to it. Yeah, totally. Look at that. So like hands down my favorite would still be Precious Petals and then um, the Pink Blossom. Blossom Glow, sorry. So of course you saw me add Botanic Dreams on the bottom. It wasn't as kapow as I wanted it. Of course I didn't wet it. I think it would look great wet, but it also will look very, very fair on me. Um, so I just topped it off with Precious Petals, which I think gave me the glow that I was looking for. I'm gonna go in with Golden Flower Crown. I'm gonna use a smaller brush because I'm gonna use it to highlight the center of my face. This is the most highlighters I've used on my face by the way, 
go in with my E36 brush. I cleaned it off and I'm going to take my golden crown, whatever, golden flower crown. This is too much. Just say golden pink, baby pink, floor up. So much easier. Anyway, I'm going to take that and highlight my brow bone. None of these are wet. I just want to see how they work in their natural state. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. The nose. And I love using this brush to place and then blend with my finger. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Like, look at that brow bone. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how I use, you know, might as well, right? Go all they go, go home. So I'm going to go use Crown of My Canopy, and I'm going to use that as a blush, in a sense, um, not as a topper. So I'm going to go in with a loose brush. <laughs> loose. I'm going to take my Cosette, um number two brush, and I'm going to take Crown of My Canopy, because this is, why aren't we focused? This is a lot more orangey than I want to admit. And I'm going to use this as a blusher. And it because it's not so shimmery, it gives you this beautiful like additional warmth to it. I should have added this first and then the highlighters, but I just thought of it, so don't judge me. I literally have six highlighters on my face. And I think that's dope. So, what do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face, though, because I feel like it just adds that, that oomph that's needed. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so now on to the liquid lipsticks. Oh, I have six of the cat suits. These are the liquid cat suits by um, Wet n Wild. Anyway, this is nudie patootie and i haven't tried it yet because this is one of the ones that i just picked up um i was looking for a dupe for again a brand that i'm not no longer barely wearing um or advertising so nudie patootie is very pale I like the formula on these oh that's nude holy shit Okay, so this is Nudie Patootie, and it's just one coat of it. It isn't dry yet. This is a concealer lip color, um, but I actually like it. I never thought I would like a color like this. Of course, I would personally wear a lip liner with this um, just to vamp it up a bit, but this is literally like almost my skin tone. If you wanted concealer lips, Nudie Patootie's for you. If you're very, very fair, this will look a lot more grage type. I think it's so pretty though. I don't know why, but I'm liking this. Not like this, like I would prefer it with a lip liner. You see my baboon butthole lip? That's gonna be a problem, but it happens with almost all my liquid lipsticks, so whatever. Next color I have here is Nudist Peach, which actually is one of my favorites. But this is another one that I feel like I have to wear with a lip liner. Of course, my favorite lip liner is K um, by the ColourPop one. Or if you're looking for something really inexpensive, like $2.99, the Jordana Easy Liner in Coco Loco. That's my boo right there. Okay, so this one right here is actually really pretty. Nudist Peach is pretty much the a, a perfect name for it. It is a nudie pink peachy shade it's more peach um and it's really pretty but i prefer it with a lip liner it's not something that i like too much by itself so this one although beautiful goes on the most streakiest with me but normally because i'm already wearing a lip liner i don't really it doesn't really show too much um but this one right here looks i think on my camera it looks really vibrant almost coral but in person it's like that perfect 
peach with a little bit of orange and a little bit of pink. It's like a neutral peach, but it's bright. Like it's really pretty, not super uber bright, but this kind of goes together like as a little pastel -y almost look. It's really pretty. Again, it's streaky, but it is super, super gorgeous with a lip liner if you're looking for that like orangey peach vibe, you know, in the center of the lip. This is something that I would recommend. So this one is Nudist Peach. So the next color I have here, it's actually one that I wear a lot is Rebel Rose. It is a beautiful, cool tone of pink. It is stunning. And I do also wear this with Coco Loco quite a bit. I just like that pinky brown, I don't know, shift. Like, I don't know, I like that gradient. So this one is, let me get that lint out my mouth, um, Rebel Rose. This is Rebel Rose, and this is a color that they just did right. Wet n Wild did this perfectly fine. Um, it is really, really creamy, so normally I redip the wand to do my top lip or my bottom lip. So beautiful. It's like a cool tone pink, but it's not so much that it's like, it just, it's it's really pretty. This is a beautiful cool tone, like mauve pink. It is beautiful, non-streaky. I know my lips um, look a little wrinkly here. Um, pardon me, I am swatching lipsticks for you guys. But this is actually really, really pretty. Um, I like it personally with the brown lip liner. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I like that gradient between a brown and a pink. I think it's really pretty. But this one I can wear alone and not have, <laughs> on. I can wear alone and not have a problem with it. It is really, really pretty. Um, it, it's, it's neutral enough that you can wear it if you're warm um, undertones or if you're cool undertones. It's really pretty. Even though it's still not fully dry, I'm pressing my lips together. It's not pulling color from one end to the other. I'm not going to have any skin left on my lips. Woof. Alright, so the next shade is actually another favorite of mine, and this one is Give Me Mocha. I only wore this a couple of times, though, and I'm like, why, though? Every time I wear it, I'm like, why do I keep forgetting I have this shade? This one's a really beautiful, rosy mocha shade. It's gorgeous, very opaque, really, really pretty, and it does not disappoint. It is darker, though. That may be why I um, don't wear it as much, especially when I'm, I've been going for a lot more nudes for the summer, but whatever. Um, so this one is... Oh, my lips hurt. This one is Gimme Mocha. This is a messy swatch, but this is Gimme Mocha. And on me, it reminds me of Max Half Red Lip Liner. If you're looking for a liquid lipstick version of Max Half Red Lip Liner, this would be it. It does have that red brown tone. It's really, really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can definitely layer this. I, I love it. It's opaque. It's it's a color that when I put it on, I'm like, oh, why didn't I wear this more often? It is it is just perfection. This is a perfect fall transition shade, fall shade, winter shade, whatever you want to wear it as. It's gorgeous. And this one is Give Me Mocha. So the next shade I have is actually Missy and Fierce. And I just got this one in the mail with the highlighter, so I have not swatched it or tried it on at all. But this looks in the bottle it looks like a pinky red which I love I love pink cool tone reds like blue tone reds I like the pink cool tone ones I think those are great and it looks like it does have a fuchsia base to it so let's see how this bad boy applies these don't have any scent to them <gasps> oh. uh. um do you guys see this freaking red I don't even know if it's as bright this is gorgeous this is a blue based red it does have a pink tone to it so it gives you that Christmassy but also summery red look like this is something I can wear for Christmas time it's not as warm red but I can wear this for the summer and rock out with my cock out and it'll be like perfect this is everything I wanted it to be everything I wanted it to be all right, so I'm going to have to take this one off because it's already dry on my lips. Last but not least, um, I have this shade here, Goth Topic, which this is like a brown wine shade. Focus. This is like a brown wine shade, and normally with shades like this, I find that they're streaky. Now, this is not a color that I have swatched on my lips, and it's one of the original colors that I picked up, the original four that I picked up. Oh my god, as you guys can see, uh, they're a little stained. That red definitely stains, but the show must go on. I got it on teeth. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
Oh shit. Ah. Okay, so this is goth topic. And although I expected it to be streaky, it actually was not a streaky, like, I, it, it's not impossible to make look good. I have red just stains everywhere. Um, This one is gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear the shit out of this one. I cannot believe I haven't even worn it yet. This is like dried blood. Like it's a, it's got a burgundy wine, but brown. I don't know, it's kind of strange, but it's so pretty. It's definitely, and this, the stain right here is driving me crazy, but this is definitely goth topic. The name suits it beautifully. I actually think it's really cute. Mm, my teeth look white today. I don't know why. Um, whiter. But anyway, this one feels great. Although it's streaky, you can go back with it and clean it up a bit. And it looks perfect. So this is a color that I would definitely be rocking soon. Overall, the packaging is great. The formula is great. Some of the colors are a little bit streakier than the others. I do have them swatched right here. So these are all the lip colors swatched right there. Let me just, this is a bad angle of swatching, by the way. But yeah, these are all the colors swatched. And I think you can definitely see these two are streakier, but because it's more of a nude, um, nudie patootie looks really good. Um, uh, Nudist Peach is definitely the streakiest out of all six of these that I have. Not my most favorite, but it's a really pretty color. If you guys need a reference for these, I thought I would film it for you guys. I only have six of the liquid lipstick, the catsuit liquid lipsticks, and I have all six of the highlighters, and now they're all on my face, and I actually, I'm kind of digging this. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for my swatches and my overall review on the um, highlighting powders. These are the Mega Glow powders and the liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild. I'll leave the links down below where you can find these. I'll try um, to find them you know, at a reasonable price, um, but you can get them directly from their website or you can see if your local drugstore carries them. So anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys, bye.